Hi guys, this is Klazart and Diggity bringing another audio commentary and this time we're commentating on Game 3 of the MSL Round of 32 Group F matchup. This is the winner's matchup between Light and um, Firebat Zero. Anyway, uh, this is being played on Coliseum. I actually missed the colors there so I'm going to let Diggity fill you guys in on that. But uh, both these guys had an impressive Game 1. Light uh, impressing with his Terran versus Terran skills, holding off against an excellent proxy rush by Pi Fantasy, uh, and managing to come out the victor at the end of the day uh, with some excellent micro and some great game sense and timing and, and just overall strategy. Uh, Fantasy played a decent game, or sorry, Firebat Zero played a decent game versus a very uh, a, a reasonably competent savior uh, who made one critical error and Firebat Hero took lethal advantage of that. So I'll be interested to see what happens in this matchup between these two guys obviously with the potential of uh, I, I actually would hope that Light would win because that will give Savior a, a third and final crack at Farbat Hero although maybe for Savior's sake it might be better if it was Light um, because he's, he really does seem to suffer a mental block against Farbat Hero so anyway I'm going to let Diggity fill you guys in, uh, in on the colors and, and bring him into this commentary now so bottom right hand corner we have Firebat Hero in orange which is very appropriate and upper right hand corner we have Light in teal which actually uh, I I think I missed the colors too, but you can tell by the NBC game there with the teal. Uh, anyway, because uh, NBC game play light. Anyway, but yeah, Firebeat Hero actually, I thought he played a really strong game against Savior. I think he would have beat uh, Moser, probably, maybe not uh, Jadong, uh, or maybe one of the really top calibers at the moment, but I think he would have beaten most competent Zerg. I think he played an excellent game. In the meantime, uh, Looks like a, s a scout being sent out by Light, Light going for the counterclockwise scout. So uh, gonna come. Oh, actually no, he's doing uh, something interesting here. Uh, it kind of, kind of like Firebat Hero did earlier, and we'll see what he, what he's kind of planning with this. Maybe just trying to secure an additional expansion with a, or just kind of get a little bit of a, a kind of a, a forward position, maybe with some proxy action. I don't know. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what he's doing with that off position barracks. Really, that f whenever a Terran player does that, it just kind of throws me off. Maybe he's just also trying to deny information to Firebat Hero when he gets the scout and just kind of. Uh, I think Cheese is a little more viable on this map simply because it is a four player map uh, and Light might be just be kind of basically hoping uh, that Firebat Hero is not going to scout in the proper direction so a lot could come down to this, this scout here from Firebat Hero. In the meantime I want to see if Light's putting down his gas or if he's going to put down a second barracks and try to just end it quickly. Uh, we'll see you in, in his base in just a moment there. Looks like Firebat Hero uh, unfortunately is scouting the wrong direction so this is going to play somewhat into Light's favor no matter what he's doing. But, and uh, Come on, show Light's base. It looks like there are being Marines pretty... It looks like we are going to see a two barracks push here. Uh, although it doesn't look like we're going to see two barracks uh, before supply depot, so I think it's going to be a little bit uh, off time. But in the meantime, so basically he's, he's trying to maintain a little bit of an economy. And wow, and now getting the scout and scouting straight off. Uh, and Firebat here in the meantime looks like he's trying to set up for somewhat of a, a front door seal. Uh, but yeah, it, well actually no, there's a factory going down, so completely off on that as well. I'm, I'm kind of curious while he, why he's doing that at that position, maybe just to secure an uh, interesting position and maybe to kind of build it off position. We'll see how it plays in the long term. In the meantime though, he is getting the scout. He is seeing that Firebat here is doing kind of standard build. In the meantime, Firebat Hero still hasn't scouted his base. It looks like Firebat Hero is actually going for a front door seal a little bit, uh, or at least preparing for it alongside. A little bit nervous about that. Uh, and then maybe we're actually might see some FD Terran here. Four Marines being produced, and maybe we'll see a Vulture alongside, and then a quick push on Firebat Hero uh, alongside. But yeah, Firebat Hero still has not scouted out Light's base. Fi and I don't think he's going to get much of a scout, because by the time he manages to get that SCV around there, I think uh, Light is essentially going to be uh, kind of basically prepared to push off. And going for a Starport as well. Sorry, I've been talking a really long time here, uh, but putting a Starport as well as a Machine Shop alongside, so doing something similar to Game 1. Yeah, Light looks like he's gone for the exact same Terran versus st Terran strategy that he went for in Game 1. He put the barracks down first, then he's put on the factory and starport. Uh, unfortunately for Firebat Hero, because he's scouted in the wrong direction, and this unfortunately luck does play a huge part in StarCraft in terms of getting your scout out at least, because he's scouted in the wrong direction, he's, his SCV's gotten taken out. And Firebat Hero, Firebat Zero, going for the command center, so he's going for the expansion straight away after the one pack into expansion. He's going to be in huge trouble here because uh, he might have a little bit of a difficult... Well, actually, that expansion is relatively easier to defend. He's gone for the machine shop first, but I think he's going to struggle to defend it because his opponent has gone for starport control tower and he's not gotten the scout off so he has no idea what um, light is up to light uh, uh, light is going to have siege tech he's or sorry he's going to have siege tanks he's also going to have raids and it's going to be very difficult for firebat hero and he's going to have cloak raids so it's going to be hugely difficult for firebat hero to defend this uh, against light and i think light is going to be in a very strong position light now pushing up with the siege tank along with his four marines uh, and he's going to just put some pressure on firebat hero firebat hero has gotten one siege tank out as well he's putting on a second factory so it's just a question of how long li uh, firebat hero can hold off but i think the cloak raids are going to make the critical difference here uh, and light is trying to get some position uh, clever uh, firebat 
Fighter trying to get some position. Clever by Firebear Hero moving up that ramp uh, with the Siege Tank and two Marines. Uh, and he's actually managed to equalize the equation a little bit. He's actually managed to take off two of uh, Firebear Fire Fire um, Light's Marines. And Firebat Hero gets the kill on the Siege Tank as well. Great play by Firebat Hero. Uh, really good micro by him moving. He had a smaller size force by two Marines. And he also didn't have that SCV in support. But he's actually managed to win the battle by going up the ramp. And he's now going to be able to take this SCV out as well. He's got a second Siege Tank out. So great play by... Uh, great play by him there, and if he can get that siege tank repaired, that's going to be huge for him. Uh, Light, Light coming in with the second siege tank, he knew that it was very important to finish that siege tank off uh, so that his opponent didn't have too much of an advantage. Now he's producing the raids, he's getting cloaking technology up as well. Firebat here is going to really struggle now with, with, to cope with these raids. It's just a question of whether or, whether or not Light scouts that command center and realizes what Firebat Hero has done. Firebat Hero doesn't look like he's anywhere near getting an armory. Uh, he's now building his armory up. Uh, he's, it looks like he's building two armories simultaneously. Uh, he's now repairing a siege tank which is coming under fire from the raid. So Firebat Hero actually is doing a great job here. He pushed out with those two siege tanks uh, and took that uh, that uh, the second expansion ramp from Light before Light could get up there because if Light had established position there then it would have been impossible for Firebat Hero to actually come back in this game because Light would have been able to siege from above that. Meanwhile, uh, Light has brilliantly used his bunker to seal off that uh, that uh, choke. So using Firebat Hero's supply depot to his advantage, firing where that SCV, getting siege tech up and, and really Light has a very small window here where he, he needs to do some damage to Firebat Hero otherwise it's going to be pretty much GG. But Firebat Hero has managed to break open that barracks uh, and push out his SCVs. So Firebat here looks like he's in a very strong position. Light's opening gam gambit I think has failed at this stage. It hasn't paid off even though he's going to have the cloaking technology. I think I think he's going to probably come out. Firebat here is probably going to come out the victor here I feel now Diggity. Yeah Firebat here first of all he's got that additional expansion. Second of all Light uh, as you can see he's got that barracks burning uh, on that side he still hasn't expanded. Light was I'm not sure what Light was up to. I think he was been better maybe going like a spider mine drop or something like that over the cliffside. But Firebat here got a, uh, just beautiful timing, pushing up right when he needed to, now getting the scout inside uh, Light's base. As you can see, gonna leave, he's going to take down Light's barracks right there, which is going to slow down any additional factories that Light was hoping to produce with a timing push here. But Firebat here taking an absolutely dominant lead. Uh, with those Goliaths, he's going to be perf uh, perfectly fine defending against these raids. They are cloaked, uh, but uh, wow, and using them to spot here alongside. But as you can see, Firebat here is taking the critical position along that ridge side. He's going to take the height. Uh, y even with a fewer number, that's kind of what decided the battle before, is he got up into that fog of war, was uh, kind of going up, uh, was making sure he was pushing uphill. Wow. Managed to stop uh, one of Light's, stopping Light's command center from going up, which is going to set him even farther behind economically. But because he got cliffside, going back a moment, because he was able to go uh, up there, he <laughs> landing, that's what it was, he landed a barrack there, uh, and <laughs> barracks there, I should say, and managed to produce a marine alongside. Everything going right for Firebat here, right here, but he was able to get up and, and basically make sure that there was that uh, miss percentile, and that can really decide battles. Uh, ended up coming ahead because of that last battle, and <laughs> still producing marines to harass this. Uh, now he's going to have to lift that barrack. Uh, that barracks out and pull it back. Uh, in the meantime, Light on the defensive, but just so far behind economically. It looks like he's just going to try to expand uh, two bases at once, which is very risky, especially because Firebat Hero, uh, he's getting his starport down. Firebat Hero has already, he's already got two factories. I think he's going to take a technological lead. He's already got weapons one. He is pushing up now, uh, and he's going to be in a very strong position, especially with all the positioning of that tech, as you can see, uh, to kind of shell cliffside, and uh, I'm not sure that Light's really going to be able to defend. This is really, uh, I think it's really risky on his part uh, to try to go for this double expansion at once, and I think additionally that Firebat Hero is going to scout it out uh, with that, uh, I think he's going to be able to scout it out with that floating barrack if he decides to, uh, and I don't think, uh, and he's also got contact, keep that in mind, I don't think he's going to just let this, this happen. He, uh, wow, that's why he's keeping that barrack floating right there, is he wanted to make sure that, that Light couldn't land that barrack additionally. Uh, I'm sorry, couldn't land that command center additionally, and so he's going to delay mining there as well. So Firebat Hero playing a really excellent game. Now pulling some SCVs off the line, going to go in and try to end the game right now, and I think he's going to be able to do so. Yeah, Firebat Hero is in a hugely strong position. Um, what Light, I think, was Light, what Light was trying to do. Light actually might be able to just barely defend this. He's got one siege tank up uh, next to his command center, and he he is getting it repaired. Or actually, he's actually taking damage from a couple of SCVs. He needs to repair it. Uh, and Firebat Hero, within shelling range of those factories, he, he's he's been forced to unseize that siege tank, and he's lost the siege tank that he had siege. So this is going to be GG right here. Firebat Hero is going to take this game. He's going to take that command center, and, and that's it. He's he's now positioned on lights. Um, he's now positioned on lights factory and starport and Light has is forced to GG. What Light was trying to do with that initial push was actually get position on that second expo ramp above Firebat Hero's base and from there he would have been able to basically shell Firebat Hero's choke and basically lock Firebat Hero into his base and win the game. But Firebat Hero got these two siege tanks out in time and managed to get them up onto that ramp uh, just before before Light's units could arrive and uh, I think in this, this case he does deserve a little bit of a ceremony, Firebat Zero as I like to call him. Um, 
being the hero on this occasion. But yeah, it, I think it looked it almost looked like Firebat Hero's strategy was designed to counter this sort of early turn push and that he was very, very aware of the possibility of a turn player trying to take that ramp in the, in the second expansion from him. Uh, and, and it looked like he, did, he played his game specifically to counter that. So you've got to give him a lot of credit. It looks like he, he had prepared for that uh, and looks like light played right into his hands. So uh, a good victory for Firebat Hero. He's through to the next round and looking very strong. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. We're going to move on to the next round now. Yeah, Firebat Hero advances, and it looks like we're going to see Light uh, go to the losers match. But next, we're going to have Savior versus Fantasy uh, and to see who advances uh, past this. And hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for listening.